What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Be sure to check out my new affiliate, GT Racing. They make gaming chairs and office chairs. I will link their information down in the description below if you'd like to check them out for yourself. Call of Duty Modern Warfare has started going live in some areas. It is out in New Zealand as of about 30 minutes to an hour ago. It's going to be out in Australia soon. Of course, players that have early hard copy editions of the game can hop in and play as well because the servers are up and running. So there's a lot of people already on playing. And with all this information, you know, people playing that kind of thing, the weapons, uh, the complete weapon list for the game has been kind of put out. I will link this article down in the description below if you would like to look at these weapons for yourself. It does show the stats of these weapons, pretty much the same principle as it was in the beta. It has a bar that just shows, you know, the accuracy, damage, that kind of thing. It does not have any numbers or anything of that nature on it. So it's kind of hard to compare each weapon, you know, individually to another because, you know, it just shows an accuracy bar, a damage bar, a range bar, that kind of stuff. But like I said, if you want to look at that, it will be linked down in the description below. So the first thing we're going to talk about, of course, is the assault rifles that will be available to play with. And that will be the AK-47, the FN SCAR-18, the Kilo-141, the FAL, the FR-556, the M4A1, the M13, and the Odin. Now, if we move on to submachine guns, we have the AUG, the MP5, the MP7, the P90, the PP-19, and the Uzi. If we move on to LMGs, we have the M91, MG-34, OJM, SA-87. The next thing in the list will be rifles. Now, this is not technically snipers. These are more like, I guess you would say, maybe DMR-style rifles, the EBR-14, the CAR-98K, -K, the MK-2 carbine. Then we can go on to the true sniper rifles, which are three. There are three sniper rifles available in the game right now the AX-50, the Dragunov, and the HDR. There are several shotguns, the 725, the Model 680, the original 12, and the R-90. The R-90 kind of looks like um, some of the older Modern Warfare full auto shotguns, kind of what it reminds me of in that image. But I did find that kind of interesting that it kind of looks like some of those older style weapons that we've seen in past Modern Warfare games. Now when it comes to handguns, we have the 50GS, the 357, the 1911, the M19, and the X-16. And when it comes to the other secondary weapons that we can equip, of course, that would be launchers, the JOKR, the PILA, the RPG-7, and the Strela P. And of course, you can carry things like a combat knife or uh, a right shield is also shown to be available. I'm not sure if the right shield is... I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, but I'm not sure that it's going to be available on all characters, but I'm guessing that probably will be the case. Like I said, guys, I just wanted to let you know what all of these weapons were, what you kind of can expect to see when you start playing. I'm not sure what order these unlock in. I'm not sure if this is the order, the kind of, you know, when I, when I read off that list or if you look at it for yourself, I'm not sure if that's the order they unlock in. You know how the beta was. It was, you know, we just had to select weapons we could play with. And, you know, when it comes to beta and then the actual game, sometimes those weapons we get in, in the beta may not be able to be unlocked until later on in the game. There may be some of the better weapons you know, they just wanted to let us play with them and test them out uh, while the beta was going on. But like I said, that is the complete list of everything that we have available. Now, they did not talk about in this article of anything that we could, like, change. You know, they say you can change the AK, set, uh, the AK to an LMG or a 7.4U, depending on what attachments you, you have on it. And to begin with, there was supposed to be a lot of those weapons you could change. We haven't heard a lot about that yet, so I'm not 100% sure what weapons we're going to be able to change into different you know, different style weapons just by changing out the barrel stocks, that kind of thing. But if any information else, or any, if any more information comes out today about that, I will let you guys know. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you have the time, if you could please share this video, it does help out the channel a lot. And of course, click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.